I did it. I finally did it. I did it! After drooling over this watercolor set for the better part of the past year, I finally pulled the trigger and just in time for my 40th birthday. And what better way to kick off the celebrating than by treating myself to the Holy Grail, the Maserati, the Hermes Birkin, the Harry Winston Diamond, the Rolex, I can keep going. The creme de la creme of watercolors, A Gallo's 48 color set. And yeah, of course I'm taking you with me. Come on, I wouldn't do that to you. Come with me. So here's the deal though. I don't want this video to get too long, so I'm actually breaking it up into two parts. So today's video is gonna be all about unboxing, the packaging, the whole discovery, and my initial thoughts. And then next week, we're gonna do a swatching, uh, a swatch of a ganza. <laughs> What's wrong with me? So we can spend enough time appreciating every color in its full glory. So yeah, I'm not gonna drag this out, although maybe I should drag it out. I don't know. What do you think? Should I drag it out? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's jump straight in. Desk time. So here we go. A little intro on the brand if you haven't heard of A. Gallo before. A. Gallo is the brainchild of Alina Gallo. A for Alina. Get it? So she's an artist in her own right, and she fell in love with the art of watercolors so much that she decided to embark on the journey of creating her own handmade watercolors. And so what she and her team do is they source as many unique pigments as they can, and they create these stunning watercolors that are inspired by historical art and historical pigments. And as a classicist who just loves art history, I just love that about it. But it's not just about looking good. What also drove me to shell out the big moolah for this set is that A. Gallo is all about ethical and sustainable practices when it comes to her watercolor production. And that includes having paints that are non-harmful to the environment. So we're not gonna see heavy metals or toxic paints in this, which I appreciate. And I'm actually planning on making this one my quote unquote common area watercolors, as in the ones that I can take out of my studio when I'm painting in the presence of my kids, because then I don't have to worry about that aspect of the paint formulation. Okay, so let's get into it. So first impressions is that the packaging is next level. It comes in this linen pouch, which is super elegant. I've gotta find a way to reuse this. And that's what happens when packaging is beautiful, you know? You just, you just wanna hold on to it and repurpose it and make it a part of your life. I don't know, is it just me? Now, for the moment of truth. Oh, how lovely. Italian hand marbled paper. Now here's a fun fact about marbled paper. So back in the 16th century, Italian paper makers kept the technique of marbling paper a secret because they were the only ones who knew how to do it. And it was like Fort Knox level secrecy. It was basically forbidden to leave the workshop with the paper or to try to share exactly how they did it. I know, talk about intense, right? So nowadays, marbled paper is made all over the world, but in my opinion, Italy still does it best. And you can see just how special it is on this sleeve right here. I think I saw on the website that it varies from set to set. So if you end up buying your own, it's probably gonna come in something with a different design, maybe a different color scheme, something completely one of a kind. And isn't that so special? All right, so let's pop this palette open. Oh wow, A plus plus on presentation, folks. <laughs> this really does feel like a birthday treat. Tiny card, what does this say? Don't give this to the baby. Oh, I'm so giving it to the baby. I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm so kidding. <laughs> no one called Child Protective Services. Moving on. So it comes with a little swatching card on the inside, which allows you to swatch out all of the colors and have this little flash card when you're working. And I usually make my own video in the card above of how I did it with a Sennelier palette recently. But this is a really nice little touch so you don't have to handwrite and measure out all of your swatches beforehand. 
And I'm pretty sure it's said on the website that the swatch card is printed on Arsh cold press, which is a really nice feature because the swatches will be true to the real thing if I end up painting on the same paper. Oh, and let's not forget the brush. This set comes with a Tintoretto Synthetico Vajo? Vajo? Wait, it's Italian, not Spanish. So I think it should be Vajo? Tintoretto Synthetico Vajo. <laughs> Definitely not Vajo. I don't know, someone help me here. Let me know in the comments. So a Tintoretto um, Vajo quill brush in a size zero. And full disclosure, this is my first quill brush ever. I know. I'm late to the quill party. Somebody call the quill police. I usually sticked around in flats, but hey, trying something new never hurt anyone, and I am all in on this beautiful quill brush. And I've heard that these are supposed to be fantastic for holding on to a ton of moisture, so I am all in. Okay, so now the entree, the coup de grace, the pièce de résistance. <laughs> So let's check out these paints. This is a really impressive gamut of colors, ranging from more quote unquote mainstream colors to more unusual exotic choices. And here, my artist friends, we are greeted again with some pretty impressive packaging. And this is coming from someone who spent years in the professional branding and packaging design space. So, you know, I know my stuff and this is like designer candy catnip. Great job, Gallo. Oh, and one more thing that sticks out to me is that everything so far has been made using environmentally friendly materials. So we're avoiding any unnecessary plastic waste, which I love. So each pan is wrapped in thick paper that has a hand painted color stripe running through it. And I don't know, I think it must take them hours to do this by hand, but the, the love and the care really comes across, I, I gotta say. It's so pretty, I feel sad taking these paper wrappers off, but onwards we must forge. The pans are filled to the very brim and beyond. So as much as they cost, they are certainly not stingy with portion sizing here. Okay, so taking all these wrappers off, a few colors seem to stick out to me. And I generally don't like to judge a paint by what it looks like in the pan, but don't you worry, I'll give you a preview of every single one of these next week when I swatch them out so that you can get more of a taste of what these look like. And right now at least, it's just gonna be first impressions. So copper blue and fig green are like gemstones. I mean, there's no other way to describe them. So I'm excited to see what they're like when rubber meets the road. Yinmin blue is also really interesting and I've actually never tried this pigment before. This one, I'm excited just to finally be able to try it. And Yinmin blue is actually one of the most recent pigment discoveries. And so new pigments aren't discovered very often. It's actually quite rare for something new to happen. And so it was, I believe it was discovered in a lab in Oregon. All the neutrals look so elegant and Ercolano red in particular looks like a color that will definitely fit within my wheelhouse. So all in all, first impressions of this palette are that it is put together with care, with love, and with a beautiful lineup of colors. And again, I wanna point out that we don't have the scary toxic pigments in this set. I don't see any cadmiums, any cobalts, or anything explicitly named iron oxide. And I really appreciate that because being in a household with two young kids, I'm always trying to minimize these hazards as much as possible. And I don't so much care about my own working space because I'm really careful in in my own studio. But if I decide to take these with me and paint, say at the dining table when the Lion King is playing in the background, I feel like I don't need to pull out the hazmat suits for my kiddos. You know, that's a joke, right? I don't actually have child-sized hazmat suits. Although that would be nice. Anyway, like I mentioned, next week we'll take them out for a spin so you can get a feel for what this palette feels like and how it looks on paper and all the different properties and features of each color. So in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me for this little birthday watercolor party. Keep painting, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you next week. Bye.